Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math School Learn to Succeed. In this channel, I will be teaching you Karnataka Board Class 10th SLC Insert Math. In today's video, let us solve the exercise 1.1 from chapter number 1 Arithmetic Progressions. So before we begin this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos. So let us begin the first question from exercise 1.1 which says in which of the following situation does the list of numbers involved make an arithmetic progression and why so here this is the question that is the first part of the first question the taxi fare after each kilometer when the fare is rupees 15 for first kilometer and rupees 8 for each additional kilometer so for example if we are traveling from point A to point B the taxi fare for the first kilometer for the first one kilometer it will be 15 and for the next subsequent kilometers it will be 8 for second kilometer it will be 8 for third kilometer additional 8 rupees will be added and for the fourth kilometer additional 8 rupees will be added only for the first kilometer it is 15 after that the subsequent kilometers it will be 8 8 and 8 let us write the taxi fare for the first kilometer it is 15 rupees for the next ki second kilometer it will be 15 for the first kilometer and for the second kilometer it will be 8 will be added at the end of the second kilometer similarly for the third kilometer we will have 15 plus 8 plus 8 okay at the end of third kilometer we will have 15 plus 8 plus 8 similarly for the fourth kilometer we will have 15 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 so this will be the fare for each kilometer okay so for the first kilometer it will be 15 rupees second kilometer it will be 15 plus 8 that is 23 third kilometer is 15 plus 8 plus 8 is 31 and for the fourth kilometer it is 15 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 it is 39 for so for every kilometer we are calculating the fare so let us write down the ap now for first kilometer it will be 15 then it is 23 31 and 39 and this goes on until the journey continues okay this can continue until the destination point so first we have got the list of numbers now now we have to prove why this is an ap okay to prove why this is an ap we have to determine the common difference between each term okay so the first term a we already know that is 15 okay so if in the ap if you assume the first term as a1 a2 a3 and a4 as a fourth term so let us uh, find out the common difference between the each term so a2 minus a1 will give you 23 minus 15 that is 8 similarly a3 minus a2 will be 31 minus 23 again is 8 then a4 minus a3 will be 39 minus 31 again is it is 8 since the difference between all the term is same since the d is 8 we can say that the list of numbers forms an ap therefore the list of numbers forms ap as each succeeding term is obtained by adding 8 to its preceding term first of all we will find out the list of numbers and we have to prove why it forms an ap so coming to the second part of the question one which says the amount of air present in a cylinder when a vacuum pump removes one fourth of the air remaining in the cylinder at the time so let us understand the question first it says it has a cylinder and a vacuum pump removes one fourth of the air inside the cylinder each time it pumps out the air it removes the one fourth of the air present inside the cylinder so we don't know what is the amount of air present in the cylinder initially so let us assume initially the amount of air be v so let the amount of air present in cylinder be v okay so 
each time it pumps out one fourth of the total air present in the cylinder so the, for the first time when it pumps out one fourth of the air it removes one fourth of the total air that is V present inside the cylinder so the total air initially which was present was V and it removes one fourth of the total air so if you take the LCM it will be 4 is the LCM ok so here multiplying 4V minus V so that will be 3V by 4 so this is the amount of air left behind after pumping out one fourth of the air from the total air so similarly if you do this pump out a second time so the total air left out in the cylinder is 3V by 4 so from this uh, total air one fourth part is again removed so total from the total air one subtract one fourth of the total air that is 3v by 4 so let us found the, uh, find the lcm for this that is 3v by 4 will be minus 3v by 4 4 is 16 now if the lcm here will be 16 so we can write 12v minus 3v so it is 9v by 16 so second time we will uh, be left with this amount of the air again third time also you can uh, do the same method you have to subtract one fourth of the total air from this amount uh, so therefore the AP will be initially to the total volume of air was V after pumping out the first time it was 3V by 4 and after second time it was 9V by 16 and this can continue depends upon how many times you pump the uh, air out of the cylinder so let us assume this is the uh, series AP series now we have to prove whether this, uh, this is an AP or not to prove whether the series is an AP or not we have to find the uh, common difference between each term so let us assume this to be a1 a2 and a3 so what is a2 minus a1 that is 3v by 4 minus v if you take the lcm it will be 3v minus 4v divided by 4 that is minus v by 4 similarly if you do a3 minus a2 again we get 9v min by 16 minus 3v by 4 so here 16 is the lcm so 9v minus if you take the lcm here it will be 12v so 9 minus 12 is minus 3v by 16 here you can observe that the d value obtained uh, for a2 minus a1 and a3 minus a2 is not equal so we can say that this does not the list of numbers obtained above does not form an AP uh, list of numbers here which we obtained that is V 3V by 4 and this can be written as 3 by 4 the whole square V does not form an AP so moving to the third part of the question 1 so this is the third part of the question 1 which says the cost of digging a well after every meter of digging when it costs rupees 150 for the first meter and rises by rupees 50 for each subsequent meter so this is again very much similar to the previous questions we solved we have a well the cost of digging a well for the for the uh, first meter for the first one meter it will be 150 rupees and for the subsequent meters it will cost the second meter and the third meter it will cost 50 extra okay so f first of all let us write down for the f the cost of digging the cost of digging the well for the first meter is 150 then for the second meter it is 150 plus 50 that is 200 for the third meter it will be 150 plus 50 plus 50 that is 250 and for the fourth meter similarly it will be 150 plus 50 
plus 50 and plus 50 that is 300 so let us write down the uh, list of numbers for the AP that is 150 for the first meter and for the subsequent meters it will be 200 250 and 300 and it goes on as uh, depends upon the depth of the well this values can increase okay so now let us check whether this uh, list of numbers forms an AP or not for that we have to determine the uh, common difference between all these terms so assuming the first term as term as A1 then A2 and A4 so A2 minus A1 will give you 200 minus 150 that is again 50 then A3 minus A2 will give you 250 minus 200 again 50 is the result then A3 minus A4 is 300 minus 250 that will give you 50 again so we can notice that all the values of D are equal here therefore we can see say that the list of numbers 150 200 and 250 and 300 forms an AP as the value of the common difference between each term is equal. So this is the fourth part of the question from the question 1. The amount of money in the account every year when rupees 10,000 is deposited at compound interest at 8% per annum. So the question says there is a principal amount that is deposited that is rupees 10,000 is deposited in the bank and after the end of every year eight per a compound interest of 8% per annum is added. So let us calculate uh, the amount after every year principal amount invested is 10,000 initially. So for the first year there is no interest the amount will be same okay at the end of the first year uh, the compound uh, interest is not added there is no interest so the first year uh, the amount will be same then at the end of second year 8% of the principal amount will be added okay compound interest of the principal amount is taken and added to the initial amount so let us calculate the 8% of the compound uh, principal amount that is 8 percent is nothing but 8 by 100 cancel the zeros so this will be 800 10,000 plus 800 will be 10,800 similarly if you calculate for the third year the principal amount now will be 10,800 and then we have to add the 8 percent of the uh, principal amount okay into 8 percent so let us calculate uh, 10,800 8% so this will be 864 now if you add this amount to 10,800 you will get the result as 11,664 now let us write down the AP which we have obtained here so initially the for the first year the principal am amount will be same so it is 10,000 and the next second and third year it will be 10,800 and 11,664 this can continue now we have to find out whether this uh, list of number forms an AP or not so assuming this as A1, A2 and A3 let us calculate D that is A2 minus A1 that is 10,800 minus 10,000 will give you 800 similarly A3 minus A2 will be 11,664 minus 10,800 will give you 864 here we can observe that both the D values which we calculate are calculated is not equal therefore we can say that list of numbers does not form an AP the list of numbers that is 10,000 10,800 and 11,664 does not form an AP so with this we end the question number one from exercise 1.1 in my next video I will be uh, solving the second question from the exercise 1.1 thank you